Good morning, everybody. My name is uh, Ennis Kamge, Director Investigations from the Central Environmental Authority. My topic here today is controlling single-use plastic pollution in Sri Lanka. Single-use plastic, of course, has become a major environment and health issue in the country. And uh, so that uh, considering the health and environmental issues in the country, the government uh, directed the Central Environmental Authority to uh, control the single-use plastic items uh, in the country. So the Central Environmental Authority selected uh, certain uh, highly impacted single-use plastic items like uh, HDPE uh, shopping bags, uh, polythene lunch sheets, uh, polystyrofoam lunch boxes, and uh, plastic bags uh, having less than 20 micron in thickness, as well as uh, it was uh, prohibited to use uh, polythene as a decorative materials in uh, various kinds of ceremonies. So that uh, those regulations were published in uh, 2017 and uh, the implementation was commenced in 2018 January. Implementation was in two folds. Uh, one is through the administrative orders and the other one is uh, a direct prosecution through the judicial process. And uh, for the identification of uh, polythene materials, uh, there are two methods for use. One is a wet method that we are methylene dichloride was used as a solvent for the identification of uh, polythene uh, by line sheets. And then the uh, spectrophotic method also used the where uh, portable Raman spectrophotometer was used to detect the kind of the uh, material that has been used for manufacturing of the prohibited uh, items. So, uh, and uh, gauge meters were used uh, to measure the gauge of uh, shopping bags, uh, which has been already prohibited. So that uh, administrative orders were very much effective up to a certain extent, but uh, it was not much effective in the case of uh, polythene line sheets. It was uh, being used island wide to everybody. And so that uh, CEA uh, conducted uh, island-wide uh, rating programs during 2018 and 2019 as well. And as a total of uh, the 20,869 rates were conducted during this uh, two-year period, and uh, it was detected 1,534 violations, and that is 7.35% uh, of uh, the violations. And then, uh, during the uh, exercise of this uh, prosecution, it was uh, noted that the certain uh, limitations were there. Those are really that the penalties are not adequate to control the manufacturing and the wholesale trades in the country, as well as the seizing power to stocks, uh, large stocks of the is not uh, sufficient. And uh, due to these limitations, of course, that the controlling exercise was uh, not that success, but uh, as a conclusion, we recommend to bring certain uh, amendments to the National Environment Act, where the certain uh, amendments like this uh, prosecution powers to be further uh, strengthened by having uh, stringent penalties, as well as uh, we will have to have uh, certain uh, powers to seize the stocks, as well as uh, they will have to. There should be some powers to, I mean, uh, seize the or, or confiscate the machineries uh, through which the such illegal products are being manufactured and also it is not noteworthy to mention that the uh, extended producer, producer responsibility has also to be introduced uh, into the uh, national environment act to i mean uh, uh, abate this uh, environmental pollution caused by the single use uh, plastics in the country thank you very much